This video is going to be a collection of small little projects that weren't really long enough to merit their own video, but they're definitely improvements to the rangeline. So I thought I'd put together a compilation of small little projects that you can use to make your rangeline a little better. These projects are pretty simple. Most of them don't require any particular uh, advanced knowledge, just little tweaks. There are a lot of little tips that we picked up from various online blogs for various products and things that fit well with the range line, and I'll link those in the description at the end of the video. So one of the things that I didn't like at all is the, uh, the floor panels of the Dodge Promaster are just kind of cheap and plasticky and they just rattle around a lot, so I knew I had to get a floor mat. I looked around at a bunch of different models and uh, eventually decided to go with the official Dodge Promaster floor mat, which you can see installed here. Unfortunately, it seems like it really wasn't the best option. Um, you can see it doesn't completely cover all of the plastic floor panels. It's just kind of minimalistic. Uh, and it does tend to stick up at the edges, which you're going to catch your feet on as you walk over it. And it's kind of loose and floppy as well. So. I uh, can't say that I would recommend getting the official uh, Dodge Promaster floor mats. And here you can see what I'm talking about with the floor mat, how it just doesn't sit down properly, it sticks up. Yeah, I'm going to be bumping into that all the time, and it just is kind of floppy on the plastic plates. It just doesn't feel very solid. Here's a fun little tweak that someone on the Facebook group recommended. You can get a couple of fairly cheap uh, extension curtain rods and they fit in nicely in the space here as a towel rack. They fit in fairly secure and you can just drape the towels over and they don't fall out. I wanted to mention this uh, storage area behind the seats. At first, I thought this storage area was supposed to be used for the table to stow it. Uh, but, unfortunately, the table leg doesn't come off, and so there is definitely no way to stow the table there. Even if it did, it turns out this storage space behind the seat isn't deep enough uh, to contain the table. It stops farther back with a, uh, it looks like some piping and some other stuff. But what we found that it is perfect for storing is a pair of these chairs. This was suggested by another person in the rangeline group. These Pico armchairs are just the perfect size to fit in the storage area. You can fit a pair of them right back here. They stow very neatly uh, and it's very handy that way. The only thing I would want to do is um, it's actually slightly too long the space so I would want to put something else in front or something to block them so they don't slide around a lot. For the next repair, I wanted to focus here on this lovely piece of uh, curved trim that Airstream put in. So I do like the aesthetics, and it's well designed. Unfortunately, it wasn't particularly well put together. I don't know if you can see it here, but the trim actually doesn't come to the edge of the curve of the floor here. There's a bit of a gap. You can see the staple here. But even worse, this trim here is actually quite sharp on the edge here. I scraped up my bare feet on that. So we're going to need to uh, file that down so it's nice and smooth. And I'll see if I can cinch this in and close up that gap. Well, I wasn't able to make much progress in tightening this thing down. This is really stiff. And the screws just won't move. Even uh, some gentle persuading with a rubber mallet didn't help move that in anymore. Uh, so I guess we're just stuck with where we are. But I was able to uh, run a Dremel tool very carefully and gently across the edge here, round it over a bit so it's uh, significantly less sharp. This is something that I discovered um, as we were driving along. I was hearing this really bad squeak and I narrowed it down to uh, this black panel here. What I found is the black panel, uh, Airstream had installed just two screws, <laughs> one here and one back here, uh, and <clears throat> originally you could just push down and it would kind of flop loose. 
Let me flip around to the other side. From here you can see the other screw they installed was down at the bottom. There was no screw at the top, and that's why it really had no stability to uh, stay there. And the reason there was no screw at the top is you can see this thing. Uh, there was no wood or anything to screw into. What I did is I just uh, mounted a little wood block here, extended it a little bit so I was able to put a screw in, and that stabilizes that quite a bit. So I recommend doing that. Getting into some small quality of life uh, sort of things. Personally, I hate uh, lots of rattles and bangs when I'm driving. Uh, so what we did is we got some of this uh, rubber matting to put in the bottom of the drawers. That keeps things from rattling around quite a bit. Um, for cookware, uh, we got induction capable uh, frying pans and pots. But we also got them with the handles that can snap off, which makes uh, storage much more compact. Now, I don't know if this is going to impact everyone, but if you're tall like me, um, I tended to bonk my head all the time on these cabinet doors when they're uh, sitting out. So what I did is I just took some uh, sticky felt tape and I made myself a little corner on each of the corners of the shelf right here. Um, still hurts when I bonk my head, but leaves a little bit less of a dent. And it still looks fine while you closed, closed, uh, so it doesn't mess with the aesthetics very much. Here's another small tip that I picked up uh, from the Facebook groups. The rear switch settings here um, are really handy uh, and you want to be able to use those. Unfortunately, there is no tactile way to feel what's going on here. So in the middle of the night when it's all dark, uh, you, want to be, <laughs> you don't want to accidentally hit the generator start, for example, when you're trying to hit the uh, bathroom light. So the tip was just to get some of these uh, handy little locator dots. So you can just buy these off the internet, they're really cheap. Um, just little clear plastic stickers that have little dot patterns on them. And you can stick them on the ones that you want to hit in the dark. And that way you can avoid hitting the ones you don't want to hit. Okay, I've put the dots on where I think they'll be the most useful. I've got a dot on the light master on. I figure light off will be no problem because there's going to be a light on. I also put one on the bathroom light, because I could see potentially wanting to use that in the middle of the night. And the water pump, of course, because you never know when you might need some water. The next little trick I wanted to show was for the, uh, the sun shades, the privacy shades in the front of the van. Uh, Airstream provided some really nice insulated, reflective uh, privacy shades for the front of the van. Uh, the one drawback to these is they take up a lot of space uh, and you have to roll them up. So let me show you that. Okay, the way I've uh, usually been storing these is I just fold it in half and put the side windows in here. And I usually try and roll it up from the center. Uh, that I figure the center is going to have the most curvature to it and if you want curvature you don't want it near the edges where it'll just kind of flop open. So I generally just roll them up in the center as tight as I can. And that's been working pretty good. I alternate directions so I don't put a permanent crimp in the thing. The problem comes when I go to stick this in the back. Um, these things are you know, coated with aluminum and plastic. They're very slippery. And so as I finish rolling, you can see it all kind of slides and comes apart. And that's not very effective. So, solution is just to get some of these... Uh, Buckle straps, you can get these pretty cheaply. Uh, simple Velcro straps um, that you can wrap around it. And now putting this away becomes a one-person job instead of a two-person job. Because trying to hold that thing together while you get it in the bag, not fun at all. Okay. Go ahead and film the thing out. So 
Here's either these straps, really easy to put on, holds it all together nicely. I don't know why Rangeland doesn't include those with the set, because they're like 10 cents. You know, it makes it much easier to get the bag on when you're not fighting with the thing coming apart. Good to go.